Hey, what's up, Crypto Land? Black Crypto here. I just want to bring you another cryptocurrency video. And I want to know what is your strategy for investing in 2019 when it comes to cryptocurrencies? You know, I've stopped Bitcoin mining here at home, and that means now I have to look at other ways to definitely get involved with cryptocurrencies in terms of personally, in terms of my own portfolio. And that's what I want to talk to you about right now. What is your thoughts in terms of what is your portfolio? What do you have in your portfolio? Uh, how do you see Bitcoin now? You know, we've seen the price go up. We've seen the price go all the way down in this what's called of a bear market, or maybe it was just a little small bear run uh, as the price is now going back up. You know, Bitcoin may not be dead. It may be here for many years to come. And that means other cryptocurrencies as well. Will other cryptocurrencies step up in terms of being a form of actual currency that we can use? Will that be Litecoin? Uh, would that be Ripple? You know, what will that actually be? Would that be Stellar? You know, what would be used for banking? What would we use for currency? What would we use for, you know, a store of value? Will that be Bitcoin? You know, we have other cryptocurrencies out there that are also doing great things in terms of applications, in terms of Ethereum. You know, where would that actually go? Now, does that mean all of these will survive? We don't know. But do you start investing in them right now? Because what happens in the next two, three, four, five years if these projects actually take off? You were an early investor. You were an early adopter of these actual cryptocurrencies. And you can really take advantage of that when these prices of them actually really goes up or when actually the market gets a lot more mature when it comes to using cryptocurrencies. So in terms of me, you know, I try to diversify my portfolio. I have holdings in Bitcoin and Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, uh, as well as a few others. And I'm still looking to find out which ones are the best ones to actually invest in. Which ones should I hold? Which ones should I trade? I'm not a professional trader in any kind of sense, but you know, it's always good to also make a little bit of money with this as well. But my also my, my, my end game is to actually hold these coins for a very long time. You know, at least for a couple of years to see if this if the if the industry or if the community matures a whole lot more when it comes to using it. Now I have no doubt that that would happen. When that would happen is the question. You know, we see Coinbase that is very uh, for when it comes to the custodial, we see uh, a lot of other uh, over-the-counter desks in terms of custodial as well. We see, you know, the banking industry starting to get involved in cryptocurrencies where we have banks saying they want to launch their own cryptocurrency. Now, if cryptocurrencies is dead or the Bitcoin, uh, any one of those did not believe in cryptocurrency, why are they now starting to get involved in blockchain technology? Why are they starting to believe in that technology and starting to market that in terms of what they want to do with it if this was not to go anywhere? So guys, do not fall for that fear mongering, that FUD. Actually, be smart in your own investing. Try to diversify. Do not try to put more into the basket that you're willing to lose as well. You know, you want to try to diversify and try to own, you know, a few different coins so that you can also take advantage of that that dip, whether it's one coin or whether the other, if you're looking into it for uh, any kind of profit uh, immediately. If you're a person of, um, in terms of a really believer in this space and you really want to see how far this can go and you're one of those individuals who is in HODLer, then you will definitely hold this for a very long time and hopefully everything will mature within the next couple of years. I definitely see for 2020 a big increase in the cryptocurrency market. You know in 2020 we're going to be having the Bitcoin halving and that's going to be a significant milestone for Bitcoin. Every time in the past, the Bitcoin price has gone up according to that having a date. Well, we're probably about a year out, a year and uh, another month or two out from that having. And that hopefully is going to push the Bitcoin market forward in terms of speculation, in terms of price. But with that also comes more individuals in terms of their ear turned up to what Bitcoin might be. By that time, I'm sure we're going to have a lot more institutional investors involved in this space. We're going to see uh, a lot more countries involved in Bitcoin. We should see some regulation 
uh, by the having. Now, if we have a regulation and it's positive and we have that having, uh, then Bitcoin price should really grow steadily because of that. Now, if the regulation comes out and it's very negative, you know, we really don't know how much that will play on the Bitcoin price plus other things that might come into play like the having or any other technical uh, things that might actually come up with Bitcoin. So guys, I just wanted to throw out this little quick video, try to get your thoughts on what you might think uh, your investment strategy is for 2019, seeing how the market is going right now. Uh, are you a believer? You know, are you saying, you know, forget that Bitcoin is dead. I don't want nothing to do with that. Are you going to be that one that, you know, maybe the next couple of years you're going to be late to the party when you say, hey, I wish I got into it early. You know, what, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments, like the video. Guys, make sure you go ahead over to my Twitter and my Instagram, which is BLK Crypto. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.